So my one question from you, tell me how many bones we have? How many bones? Well, how many bones we have? 320, 420, 500 or 600? How many bones we have? 324, Many people know. I'm so, so surprised. Like in the India, we are having 206 bones. How many bones in the China? <laughs> 那印度人有两百零六块骨头，那呃中国人有几块骨头呢？有人知道，有人回答吗？我们那个华语地区的伙伴也可以回答一下。So everywhere, whether the India or the Chinese or the US, UK, all are having two hundred six bone. If we talk about the humans, right? The number of bones, number of bones is higher when we are in the mother bomb, but after the birth. Oh. The number is decreasing because many bones are getting fused. Then we are having just two hundred six bones. So tell me, touch your nose, touch your nose here. What is this? This is a bone. What is yeah. that? Yeah. Ear, 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 ear is the bone. Yeah. This is not a bone. How many? How many person are agree that nose is the bone and ear is the bone? Because it's not a bone. 多少人同意这个鼻子这边是骨头，耳朵这边软的也是骨头？Because it's not very soft, it's looking a little hard. So nose and the ear are the bones. 虽然它很软，但它是是不是骨头呢？ Or not? I'm asking you. I don't know. I'm asking you. Bones? 那我在问你们，是骨头吗？ So the answer is this. Like suppose you are cooking the vegetable. But in the half, if you stop the gas, then you will not able to cook the vegetable. In the same way, we were trying to make the bone, but in the half we stopped it. So these are called cartilage, not the bone. Cartilage means half cooked. Half cooked, but is it belong to 206 or not? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Because they are not bone, they are not half, bone. Half bone. So we, we just, this, this for understanding purpose, like see, nose. Can you can you bend this bone? Can you bend this uh, bone from middle? Not from the Bone are not flexible, but nose are flexible. You can see nose and the ear, ear. 但是我们骨头，它是像我们的这个呃鼻子，还有这个耳朵的软骨，它是可以弯曲的，所以它不算在二百零六块骨头里边。So these are called cartilage, right? 这个这个是它只能叫做软骨，它不能算在这个真正的骨头里边，因为它是可以弯曲的。So the human body, we are having two hundred six bones, and there are many many cartilage. 有有我们有，所以我们的人体里边有两百零六块骨头。so thank God that God has not given bone here. Otherwise, people will be fighting like this dishum, dishum from the nose because nose are very hard. Let's see, this is a bone. We are hitting by this. Then people oh, will be hitting yeah. from the nose with the, to each other. <laughs> and even him. with the ear, when someone is coming in the side, we were hitting someone from the ear. 他说很幸运我们没有说这个鼻子这边有骨头，还有这耳朵，因为如果的话，我们就会用这个骨头去袭击。有时候我们走步会去袭击人家。Because wherever the bone we are using for hitting, like this is the bone, so we are playing the football and we are hitting the football from here because this is the bone. 就是我我们会用骨头来去做这个去撞撞击，比如说足球的话，我会用这个头去顶这个足球。so we are hitting from here, we are hitting from here, we can hit because bone are very hard and we can hit someone. 我们可以去撞击，因为我们的骨头非常硬，我们可以去，甚至可以去袭击别人。So the question is, whether teeth are bones or not? Teeth are very hard. <laughs> I never thought about that. <laughs> How many person are agree that teeth are bones? 有多少人认为牙齿也是骨头？Because teeth we can use for fighting. Yeah. How many person are agree that teeth are bone? <laughs> right? no, no, yes, yes. Agree and disagree. Yes, why or no? <laughs> Whether teeth are bones or not. 
Oh, write in the chat box. Uh, you can write in the chat box. You can write in the chat box. You can write in the chat box. So the answer is, no. is as per the modern system, teeth are not the bones. They are very hard. Definitely they are very no. hard, but they are not the bones. So what are they? But as per the Ayurveda concept, they are bone. <laughs> so right now we are not talking about the Ayurveda concept. Right now we are talking about the modern concept. We are having 206 bones and teeth are not the bones. When we are going to the dentist, we are telling, okay, remove my this teeth. But we are not going to someone to orthopedic Okay, remove the my this bone. So, 比如说你你去那个看医生，你会跟医生说，你你把我这个牙拔了，你不可能去医院跟医生说把我手臂这个骨头给拆了。Whether we are going to orthopedic doctor, doctor, this bone is bothering me. Kindly remove my one bone. I am happy with two hundred five bones. 就你不可能去到医生说，呃呃，我这根呃我我把我这根骨头拔掉，这根骨头让我很不舒服。呃，你不可能。No, we don't. We don't do that. But for the teeth, okay, we are having 32 teeth. Okay, remove two teeth. They are not good. Okay, there is no problem. So that way, if you look at here, we are having 206 bones in the human body and there are lots of cartilage. Cartilage means they are very soft, bony part, like the nose. Cartilage is the Like the ear. Right. So the whole body, the bony system can be divided into part. Number one, a very important central part, central part that is called axial skeletal system. So one is the one is the part of the central that is called axial skeletal system we can see that the highlighted part this part is very highly important because here we are having brain in the upper part in the chest we are having lungs so this part is doing the protection this part is saving the many many vital organ of the human body this is called axial or the central skeletal system. So it is in our body's upper part, because it is mainly in our brain, 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 our brain. So there are total 80 bones are in this axial skeletal system. In our brain's upper part, there are 80 bones in our brain. And the remaining one, we can see the arm, and the remaining one, we can see the arm, and the legs and the remaining part, arm, leg, and some other part that is called the like uh, the hanging part, or we can tell the part who is helping. So that is called appendicular skeletal system. Appendicular. In the appendicular skeletal system, we are having 126 bones. So we talk about the skull. Skull is a very important part. In the skull, we are having total 8 bones. So we talk about the skull. Skull is a very Skull is very highly important because our brain is protected inside in the skull. Okay, this is a very very hard part. If you want to go inside, then you have to drill. Then only it will open. Otherwise, you are not able to open this. This is a very hard and compact part that is called skull. In the skull, we are having eight bones. And if we are coming to the face region. In the face region, we are having total 14 bones, 14. So we can see here in the face, we are having too many bones. Can you feel it? These are the bones. 
bone. There are lots of bones are here. Here is the bone. Here is the bone. On the back side, there is a bone. Here is the bone. There are lots of bone. Here, there are total 14 bones. 14. In the India, we are telling this is Chodvi Kachan. Chodvi Kachan. Chodvi Kachan means the moon of 14th day. It's very beautiful. So, if we count together, so how many total? 8 plus 14, how many? How many bones in this area? Can you count? Can anybody counting? So, 22 bones found here in this area total that is called the bone of skull and face. Right? 8 and the 20, 8 and the 14. Then we are coming to the ear. In one ear, we are having three bones. In the other ear also, we are having three bones. So there are total six bones are found in the ear only. So these are the name of bone. And just right now, I want to just do the counting. So the total six bones are in the ear. So in this region, we have seen how many? We have seen eight, 14, and in the year six. So there are 28 bones just in this area. 28. Then after that, after this, If I am coming in the throat region, in the throat region, we are having one very big bone that is called hyoid bone. It is single bone. So we can see here in the this scalp area, we are having eight bones. In the face, we are having 14 bones. In the ear, we are having total six bones. And the throat region, we are having one bone. So how many total bones are in this whole area? Tell me the answer. So the answer is 29 bones. So now we are going ahead and uh, we will be seeing the bones of the chest region. So in the chest region, we are having one very big bone in the central sternum bone. It is one bone. And we are having 12 ribs on one side and the 12 ribs on the other side. Now, so they all together making a cage and inside there is a lungs and the heart. So in the Marma Sastra it has been told the lungs and heart like a like a prison, prison inside the cage. Okay. The protection pigeon inside this cage. And this cage is made by ribs and this sternum bone. So 12 this side, 12 this side, one in the central. How many total? Tell me the counting. So how many total? How many total? 25. So now count all together. How many 29 here and 25 here? How many total? How many total? How many total? 
29 in the head region. And 25, we have counted 12 this side, 12 this side, one in the center. So 25 and 29, how many total? That's now it's equal to 29 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25. 54. But we told that there are 80 bones. 80 bones. How many left? That's not equal to 80 bones. That's not equal to 80 bones. We told in the central part there are 80 bones. Then how, where are other other? But we didn't talk about the central part. The central part is 80 bones. Then where are the rest? Because we told there is 26 left. So now remember, 26 bones are in the spine because the spine is also the central part, right? So the spine is having total 26 bones. So the answer is that the rest of the 26 bones are in the spine. The spine is also in the spine. So look at that. So whenever we discuss about the spine, the spine is a highly flexible part. In the neck region, we are having seven cervical vertebras. Then the thoracic region, 12. Then the lower back or the lumbar region is the five. Then sacrum, just count one here right now. And the coccyx is one. So cervical, cervical are seven. Thoracic are 12, lumbar are 5, sacrum are 1, and the coccyx or tailbone are 1. Then how many total? Count. Let's say that, then, jing jui qi jie, shou jui shi er jie, yao jui wu jie, wo mde di gu shi yi jie, hai yo wo mde wei gu shi yi jie, yi gong shi duar jie. How many total? Can anyone count? Da ke yi jiao ma? Da ke yi shu yi xia ma? So now we have completed total 18, 80 bones. These 80 bones are very, very useful and they are the protector of main vital organ like the brain, like the lungs and spine we know is a very important part. So in this 80 bones, this is very important. So brothers, when, when we are in the mother bone, Till that time, we are having 26 bones in the spine. What do you think? When we are in the mother bone? That time also we are having 26 bones? Now, when we are in our mother's body, we have also 26 bones in our mother's body. What do you think? So the answer is this, no. That time we are having 33 bones, 33, right? When we are in our mother's body, we have 33 bones. When we are in the mother bomb, we are having seven cervical vertebra, cervical vertebra. We are having 12 thoracic vertebra. We are having five lumbar vertebra. We are having five Sacral vertebra. We have five bones of our neck. And we are having four bones of the tailbone or the coccyx. Tailbone or coccyx. And four is the neck region. So can you count how many? This seven, twelve, five, five and four. How many total? Can you count it? Can you count it? Can you count it? Can you count it? So please count it immediately. Can you count it immediately? So the answer will be 33. So we are telling the 33 vertebras. 33 but now the sacral vertebra, the five sacral vertebra are fusing with each other and becoming one. And even the tailbone, the four tailbone is fusing with each other and becoming one. As we take the birth. That 也就是当我们从小 baby 到那个母体子宫的小 baby 到我们出生之后呢，我们的那个骶骨五块骶骨就会融合成一块，然后我们的四块尾骨就会变成一块。So they become twenty six bones. 因此，我们脊柱一共是有二十六块这个脊椎骨。So now the axial skeleton is very important part. Axial skeleton. So before proceeding to the spine, 
even i will give want to give few minutes for the remaining bones so that we have clear concept in the mind that how many total bones we have in the body so we are having 206 bones right so then uh just just so we will then review one we have one how many bones left other than 80 how many bones left then uh that this uh how many bones left other than 80 how many bones left One hundred twenty-six are called appendicular skeletal. 就是一些辅助的骨头。Okay, so let's see here. <coughs> so in one arm we are having thirty bones. So thirty plus thirty is equal to sixty bones in two arms. 一个手臂有三十块，那两个手臂就是六十块。And in one leg also, in one leg also, we are having thirty bones. So thirty plus thirty, total sixty bones in both legs. That 腿也是三十块，那两两条腿就是六十块。So now tell me how many total bones in both arm and both leg? 告诉我这手臂跟脚加起来多少块骨头了 ？How many bones? 可以打打出来。In both arm and both leg. You can 打出来一共多少块骨头了 ？One arm thirty, another arm thirty, one leg thirty, another arm leg thirty. Thirty plus thirty plus thirty plus thirty. So the one twenty bones are just in the arm and leg. Okay, right? They are helper. They are servant. Arm and leg are the servant. 所以就是手手跟脚，它其实就是做辅助的作用的，对吧？手臂跟腿。Still six bones are left. So let's count the six bone. Then this chapter will finish. So regarding the six bone, so let's see here. Only six bone are left. So I would like to tell you the location of six bones here. So let's see. So we can see here. This is we can see the upper back area. This is the scapula. We are having two scapula bone, one and this one, right? This is the scapula bone. And we are having two collar bone, one collar bone, and this is the second collar bone. 还有就是我们的这个叫锁骨，两两条锁骨。So the two scapula and the two collar bone. So this is called pectoral girdle. The upper back area is called pectoral girdle. So this is called pectoral girdle. The medical name is pectoral girdle. This is its, uh, uh, our this medical name. So let's see here once again in the other image. We can see here when we are looking the human body. Let's see here. So two bones, they are collar bone. We can see from the front side. Look at here. So this is the collar bone number one, and this is the collar bone number two. Now yeah. we are on the back side. This is the scapula number one, and the scapula number two. Yes. So collar bone, two collar bone, and the two scapula bone together are four bones. So the four bones are connected with the. Both the arm, so these are called upper girdle or the pectoral girdle. 就是这个肩胛骨和锁骨，它是连接我们手臂的。就这，嗯、呃，四根骨头是连接手臂的。它就是我们的，呃，算这个胸部叫胸腰部的骨头，胸腰部的这个骨头。So one twenty plus four is the one twenty four. Only two bones are left. So it just only just 剩下两根骨头了 So now we are going down in the hip bone. So we we see. 
the this is the hip bone on the one side right so this is the right hip bone and this is the left hip bone or both together are called pelvic area or the pelvic girdle so these are the two bones so in that way, this become 126 bone. So here the same thing is written here. In the central line, if we see, so we can see this is the highlight area. This is the highlighted area on the central line. It is called axial skeletal having 80 bones. And the other part on the side, <clears throat> we can see this hanged part on the side. This is the hanged part on the side. This whole part is having total 120 bone. It is called appendicular. So the total 80 plus 126, there are 206 bones. So you can see 那我们尸体的这些这个辅助的位置呢，附属的一些位置有一百二十六根骨头，加起来就是二百零六根骨头。So this pelvic girdle is made by hip bones. The right side of the hip bone and the left side of the hip bone, one plus one are two. 所以这个就是我们骨盆的地方有两个宽骨组成，左右两个地方就是两个。Okay. So that way, I am not going individually. Uh, for the discussion of the each and every bone. Now let's directly come into the spine. So we already discussed that spine means the 26 bones or 33 whatever. So we are telling one, one small, small piece that is called vertebra. But when some vertebra are getting fused, then all together they become one bone only. So in between the vertebra, so we can see this is the one vertebra and <clears throat> this is the another vertebra. In between the vertebra, vertebra, we are having one a very soft, like a paneer. We know paneer. You know paneer? I know, I know. So this between the two vertebra, there is a very soft paneer-like structure that is called disc. So the purpose of this when we are doing different movements up and down, side bending, forward bending, backward bending. So it's working like a shock absorber. And the two vertebras are not coming in the contact. So it's protecting them. So when this disc is going on the right side or the left side or the forward or the backward, that is called slip disc. So just to show, uh, so there is a there is a medical word that is called IBDP IBDP. So the meaning of IBDP means this intervertebral this area in the central this is called intervertebral. Okay. This area in the central that is called intervertebral means the area between two vertebrae. Then, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, please. Continue. Go ahead. Go ahead. So that is called the area in between two 
vertebra so this is the one vertebra mm -hmm. and this is the another vertebra so this space is called intervertebral space okay it's written here intervertebral and the disc found here that is called intervertebral disc so where it is slipping here and there so that is called intervertebral disc prolapse or inter vertical vertical disc prolapse ibdp na this is just say uh this is a word it is just say talked about is our spinal cord is just say when you uh you you this uh deeply the tail ah this is with this spinal so look at in this image one minute. So we can see the uppermost area, we can see the very wonderful disc, beautiful disc. There is no any problem, right? Two vertebras are separated by the disc. So when we are doing forward bending. When we are doing backward bending or any side bending, there is a no problem because disc is working like a shock absorber. So this is called normal disc. Let's see the first one. The spinal cord is very healthy. Even in this situation, even if you are doing forward bending, forward bending, and then forward bending, because it is acting as a shock absorber. So it is completely free from any problem. But what is happening with the age? When this disc is not getting when this disc is not getting proper nutrition so there is a we can see the tear and wear of the disc there is a cracking of the disc so this is called a degenerated disc so you can see when 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 your spinal cord starts to uh just with age or other reasons you start to get uh this 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 uh so you can consider this like a one old car which is having very poor soccer shock absorber so the question comes to what is the meaning of old age here i will tell you nowadays people are getting this problem even in at the age of 30 or before that, because when you are not doing proper physical exercises, yoga asana, and you are not keeping the flexibility of the spine, and you are just sitting and working, then you might develop this condition. Then I want to tell you, now many old people, not old people, but because of your age, your age has become older. I can tell you, now many old people, even 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 old people, 呃，这个脊脊椎椎椎盘就出现了这种情况，已经开始退化，因为他一直坐着不动，他这个脊椎他没有那些他的柔韧性。So now we are getting very frequently very very young patients who is suffering with this type of the problems. 我这边就经常有很多很年轻的这个病人，就是有这个肩椎盘的这个老化的问题。So we can see here. This was the normal disc, but this is a degenerated disc here. 大家看到这个就是说，第一节是正常的肩椎盘，第二节是它这个老化的肩椎盘。Now what's happening? A disc is like this. Suppose a disc is like a very very soft structure. Okay. But and 就是想象一下，这个肩椎盘是一个非常柔软质地的这样的一个材料的这个。So sometimes what happened because of lots of Tear, some jerky movement, or because of irregular posture, or jerky movement, or dancing, or lifting some object, suddenly it's slipping uh, on any side. That is called bul bulging of the disc. So, you can imagine, because your exercise is not proper, no matter whether it's exercise, dancing, dancing, or whatever, you suddenly have this called jerky movement. These these problems are still quite common. So, like you can consider in that way. Suppose you are having one balloon, and we are blowing the balloon like this. <coughs> then balloon is bulging. In the same way, disc is bulging on the back side, or the right side, or the left side, like balloon, right? So that is called bulging of the disc. 
Now the problem is this, lots of nerve are passing. So it is doing compression. So in the report, it's written bulging of disc. Then what's happening? Even suppose there is a bulging of disc, but even we are not doing right treatment, then this is bulging is becoming more and more. We can see then it's called herniated disc. 就当我们那个接椎牌它有突出一点点的时候,你没有去重视它,然后它就会越变越大。The meaning of hernia, when someone is entering in other home, that is hernia.就是它的意思就是说,一个人到了其他人的家里。Like, disc is going in the place which is not belong to the disc. So, because this place is belong to the nerves, nerves are passing from here. So now it's start doing compression. Then person is suffering with the pain. So, so what is the meaning? It means that the nerve is coming to other people's house. It means that this place is not belongs to him. It's the place of the body. It means that it's being pushed into the nerves, so it's going to be painful. Then we can see sometimes because this is not getting proper nutrition. Why? Because person is just sitting, not doing exercise, or maybe not taking right nutrition. So there is a thinning of the disc. Disc is getting becoming thin and thin day by day. So this is called thinning. This is also creating friction of the upper and lower bones. So when the upper and lower bone are continuously doing friction with each other, then we can see there are lots of bony prominences becoming like this. We can see here. So these are called osteophyte. The osteophyte means like we can see when some seeds are sprouting. After the sprouting, we can see small, small sprouts. In the same way, some sprouts are coming from the bones, multiple sprouts coming from the bones because of continued friction, that is called osteophytes. So now, there are two conditions happening. The condition number one, the reduce, gap is reducing. The condition number two, the formation of the osteophyte. Then this condition is called spondylosis. Spondylosis. So look at here. So now suppose this is the one bone, and this is the another bone. Number one gap is reduced between two bones. 这两节脊椎之间，你看它的这个间隙就变窄了。And number two, because of the frictions, there are formation of the osteophytes, some bony prominences. Osteophyte. So this is the nerve are passing from here, and this osteophyte is pinching the nerves. So person is getting pain. So this is called spondylosis. The meaning of spondylosis, number one, reduction of gap, and number two, formation of osteophyte. These two conditions are there, then it's called spondylosis. So this is called spondylosis. 
呃，这个一个是 the reduce of the gap， second is the formation， 啊、嗯，就是一个就是说，因为呃，它这个就是一些呃，这个脊椎这个脊椎盘突出或者一些这个脊柱脊柱炎啊，它发炎就是会因为一个就是它的这个间隙变窄了，第二个还就是因为它这个嗯、呃、这个这个骨头压迫到这个神经。So generally, what's happening? There is a two vertebras, and in between there is a disc. So nerves are passing very easily without any compression. But when、so、this condition is happening, the space is reducing. Then there is a pinching of nerve. So, 一般来说，你的呃，这个脊神经它是呃，它的这个很很正常的这个运作。但是，你一旦被这个压迫到了。它就会有一些这个反应。So when this is happening in the cervical, then we are telling cervical spondylosis. And when this condition is happening in the lumbar, we are telling lumbar spondylosis. 那如果发生在我们的这个颈椎这里，这个就是我们的叫叫叫什么？肩椎排，颈椎的这个肩椎排突出，也就是我们的。很多的颈椎病，它其实就是这个原因。如果它发生在腰部的话，就是腰间盘突出。So have you seen? Have you seen or listened the word of spondylosis is is a very very common word. Have you heard this word? I think everyone will hear. Everybody will hear. Oh, doctor has told me that I am having lumbar spondylosis or the cervical spondylosis. Have you heard this word? Everyone. 这些就是呃腰间盘突出啊，这个颈椎的这个这个椎盘突出啊，这些是不是很常见 ？So spondylosis means when two condition: number one, reduction of gap, which is pinching the nerve; and number two, formation of osteophytes. If these two condition are there, then only we will tell or spondylosis. Otherwise, we can't tell it. 就是这种肩椎盘突出，只有两种情况产生，一个就是这个两个椎骨之间的间隙它非常的窄了，第二就是它这个呃这个这个这个这个呃刚,刚讲的这些骨刺或者突出的这些呃骨头压迫到了神经，只有这两种情况才会引起肩椎盘突出。So most of the patient coming to us in this condition only. 一就是大部分我的病人他来找我都是这两种情况。